Hi there, I'm back. I'm so sorry. I had to change the banner on um, this uh, stream. So my uh, sincere apologies about that. And we're back. I'm Verna Mullen. I'm doing a free card class today um, with the Lazy Days uh, bundle. And for some reason, let me see if it's going to go back. I'm just looking on my computer. And of course it is froze. So here we go again. One more time. Okay, there we are. And I'm back up. So Anne, I see you were on there and I apologize. I had to change the banner. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is a kind of a very versatile bundle to use. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. I'm just grabbing my chair and I'm going to share three cards with you today. Um, and I'm Verna Mullen from Stampin' Notes. It's Monday, May 15th, 2023. And thanks for joining me today. I'm going to put, slide this up a little bit. Okay, so um, the first card we're going to do is one that is cased from the catalog. Um, the stamp set is, is in our new annual catalog. And you can see uh, there's a lot of neat dies with this set. So there's um, this one, which cuts like a lattice. And it has uh, this pole here. There is a rocking chair. There's actually two different rocking chair dies. There's this one and this one for the stamped chair. Here's like a railing die. And there's some plants. There's this ivy. And there's this one here. Uh, this is a die for a plant and a barrel. And this is a die for a hanging basket right here. There's a little pillow die that has um, all this detail in it. It's really cute. And uh, there's some clouds. And there's a large die here for the rug. And here is the stamp set. A lot of stamps in this uh, uh, set. And as you can see, there's a rocking chair and the rug. There's two birds in a birdhouse. There's flooring flooring stamp. Um, there's some sentiments. Home is where our story begins when you take time for yourself. Um, uh, it's always a good day. And then you could put when you take time for yourself. It's always a good day when we spend time together. Uh, friends and back. Um, welcome back to our street. Uh, it's always a good day when it's your birthday. Uh, and then there's this lattice stamp here. So there's a lot you can do with this. Um, so let's start with our first card. And as I said, this was case from the catalog. The only thing that's different about this card is from the catalog is I put this, I used our gingham black and white ribbon to make it look like there's a rug. Um, I like just liked the way that it kind of looked on that. Also, um, you can get the kits for these cards, uh, six kits to each of the three different cards by placing an order of $35 or more in my online store and using this host code here at checkout, TTCHU3B4. And this deal is good uh, from today until next Monday, which is May 22nd, 23. If you comment and participate this week, you'll be put into a drawing uh, for designer series paper. And um, this week's winner is Len Curran. And I appreciate Len uh, always sharing my videos. And so thank you, Len. I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm starting with a piece of pool party card, card stock. It's eight and a half by five and a half and I'm going to score this or fold it. You can score it at four and a quarter or fold it in half. I've got to grab my bone folder. I hope everyone had a lovely Mother's Day. 
We're going to make that nice and flat. And then I have a piece of basic white that has been um, embossed with a time-worn type embossing folder. It is a 3D boss embossing folder, so it's a thick one. And that's this one here. It gives a nice texture to the card or front. And we're going to go ahead and uh, center this on our card. And I'm going to use my Seal Plus on the back of this. The Seal Plus, um, what I like about it is it really sticks well. And you can actually lift it once it's down. Hi, Carol. Thank you for sharing, Carol. Nice to see you on there and um, we're going to center this right here like that and this needs to go over just a little more whoops okay so we've got that on there now because um there's a lot of die cutting i did a pre-cut a lot of this ahead of time just so the cards would go faster and I have some die cutting to do so if you want to see die cutting I will be doing that. Now we're going to put our um, lattice piece across like this and we're going to cut it like right about here. We keep that one last one right there. And I'm going to get my liquid glue for this. And this is Stampin' Up's Tombow liquid glue. And I've just uh, put it in a different bottle, a fine chipped um, glue bottle. I'm just stabbing um, glue on the back there. And then I'm going to go right down along like that. I'm going to put this post so it's right on the edge here and at the bottom. And I should have, I'm going to lift this up because I forgot to put my ribbon under there and we'll do that right now. So this is our black and white gingham ribbon and um, I forgot to tell you the width of this uh, cardstock here. Let me look and see what I wrote down. That is three and a half by four. And so I'm going to put this right across here. It's going to go right across like that. And I'm going to just taper this end a little bit. Cut it at a slant. Like that. And then... I want to cut it off right about there. I know, Carol, you have to, I have to use a Q-tip and push the glue down in. And, it's, and then I saw Rachel Tessman doing it, and she, what she did was um, she tapped the bottle when she was filling it, and it kind of... Um, she did it that way, and she did the right the glue bottle um, directly in, into the top of this um, small bottle here. And then she kept tapping the bottle, and it made the glue to go down. But I have to use, um, I use a Q-tip to push it down. Let's see, I want to just cut off this end right here. And these scissors need to be sharpened. And I think what I'll do is just fold this back. Grab that. My granddaughters um, have a game tonight, and I really wanted to go with my husband, so that's why I'm on early. Okay, and we're going to put that right 
over there. I need like a glue dot in there. Okay, that should work. All right, so we have our little pretend rug. And we need a little more glue here to hold that. I'm just gonna hold that a minute. Okay, so now um, let's go ahead and get our other little pieces out here that we have to use. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp our flower barrel with the flowers in it. And I just have a piece of scrap, um, basic white cardstock here. And here's the barrel with the flowers. And I'm gonna use Memento ink because it's the best kind of ink to use with your Stampin' Blends. Stampin' Blends are an alcohol marker and they will bleed through to the back side. So you want to um, put a, something down behind that when you're uh, coloring with your blends. I'm going to bring in a piece or a light crumb cake and just go over the whole barrel like this. Get up here under those leaves. And then I'm going to bring in the black crumb cake and go over where the, the bands are on the basket. And if you place an order with me of $35 or more, I'll send you the kits two of each for two of each of these cards. And then if your order is $50 or more, I will send you a, um, some new, a quarter of a pack of new designer series paper. All right, so I'm gonna bring in old, light old olive and go over the leaves. very lightly like that. Now the dark gold olive, I'm gonna come in and add some color to some of those um, leaves. Hi, Chris. Okay, and that they'll kind of, that will blend in, so it looks nice. And I have one that I've already die cut out just to save time. So we've got our basket right there. We'll put that right there. And now I'm going to stamp some birds. And first, let's stamp the little bird house. And I'm using crumb cake for this. Mm, let's try the pecan pie. It's a little bit darker. Oh, that's interesting, Chris. I'll have to try that. All right, so here's our pecan pie. And I'm going to bring in just a touch of light pumpkin pie on the side here, like that. And a little bit of crumb cake accented around the bottom. And like a shadow on the roof on the, the left side there. And yes, I have one of these all done so we can save time with die cutting. And now let's stamp. Um, I have a piece of Calypso Coral that's like one and three eighths, I think five eighths. And I'm going to stamp thanks on this. And I'm using pecan pie. I really like this color. 
it more or less replaces the soft suede that retired. And there's our thanks. Yeah, try hitting it on the, your desk, Carol. When it bubbles up like that to um, get it to go down. All right, so our birds. Um, and there's two birds in this set. One is standing. And we'll go ahead and do our little standing bird. And I'm using the mantel because we're going to use, I'm going to use the blends. And I'm going to stamp him right on there like that. And then there's another bird that is uh, lying. And he is on the back of my birdhouse here. So um, we're going to stamp him right there like that. Now I want one of the birds to go the other way, one of this one. So I've got one. This is the one that um, the stamp image, he's facing the left. And here's a little one that's standing. And then this, I want to turn him so he's going facing um, the right. So the way to do that is to take a silicone mat. And this is Stampin' Up's silicone mat right here. And these are great for ad adhesive because nothing will stick to them. And they're also great for reverse images. So anytime you want to do a reverse image, what you do is you take your image, and I'm taking that bird, okay? I've stamped it up on there. I'm going to stamp it on to your, my silicone mat like that, all right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cardstock, and I'm going to lay it face down on that. So I'm going to get it right over it, and you don't want to smudge it, so you want to go kind of fast. I'm just kind of, um, and then lift it up, and then you have your image there, your reverse image. Sometimes it's a little bit lighter, and you can see this is a little bit lighter than that one. But So it's a great, you can do it with any images, and then you just have to wipe the ink off there. So I've already, um, of course, uh, well, I'm going to show you how I colored them. And I use Dark Daffodil Delight on all of them. I'm going to leave the belly kind of bare because I'm going to go in there with light pumpkin pie. All right. And... Here's the light pumpkin pie. And I'm just going to put a touch right here on the bird's belly. Right there and a little bit right there. All right. And, of course, I've already done those to save um, die cutting them out. And I've also die cut out the ivy. So I'll bring, just grab it on here. I really love this ivy dye because it, um, I don't know if you can see it, it puts a lot of texture on the leaves and maybe, maybe you can, maybe you can't. All right, so let's um, build our card now. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add that thanks. Whoops. So let's bring our card base back in and... I'm going to try and stick it maybe about right there. I want this um, barrel of flowers on the end, so that's probably about right. I'm going to add some glue on the back. And this is Calypso Coral's cardstock. I'm going to stick it right down close to that rug, ribbon slash pretend rug. 
All right, and then I'm going to take my flower barrel. I'm going to stick a couple dimensionals on that. I'm at the end of a sheet here. All right, so let's put our flower barrel right like that. And we need to put our bird feeder hanging and I'm gonna hang him right from this, uh, the bottom of that lattice right there. And again, we're gonna, I'm gonna use a dimensional on the back. We'll use two of the minis. Yeah, it's a fun technique. It's nice because, like, if you have a one-person image and you want, or even animals, you want an opposite one, it's, it's fun to be able to do that. So there's our birdhouse, and let's add our ivy to the pole here. And I'm just going to... I'm going to start it kind of like, maybe kind of like that. Maybe I only need one, one of these. And we'll stick it right there. Kind of climbing up the pole. Oh, well, maybe I'll have them go all the way up there. So let's add part of the other, and this is old olive cardstock. And I think I'll cut this right about here. Maybe make it go like that. All right, so there's our ivy, and you could even have it go all the way across the top of that. It would probably look cool. And now we need to add the little birds. And the little birds will bring some color. So we'll put one um, up here. And I'm just using glue. I'm not using dimensionals on these. And we'll put one, if I put him out here, he's kind of far removed. I think I'll, oh, I don't really like him there. I think I'll put him on the end of that. That. And then we need one more bird under the birdhouse here. He's sticking to the post it note. And just like that. So there's the front of the card. And we'll do the inside. I'm going to. I've got a piece uh, that's five and a quarter by four. And I'm a, this is a piece of the Zany Zoo designer series paper. And I'm just going to add that on the bottom there. One across the bottom. And I've got it too long. Okay. And we'll adhere this and then you could 
You could even stamp the birds. You could stamp the pot of flowers. Oops. Okay, so there's the first card. Card number one. Card number two <clears throat> um, he has the rocking chair. And we're going to start with a piece of lemon lolly. I love this color. I think it's um, my favorite new uh, core color. And this is, a, again, eight and a half by five and a half. Or you can score it at four and a quarter, or you can just fold it in half and burnish it with a bone folder. All right, so we're gonna start building. Um, and this is the card we're doing with a rocker and the table. It looks like a living room. It has a little welcome sign. Um, and it has like wallpaper and board and batten kind of look the rug and the floor so um we've got this folded i'm going to start with our floor piece all right and the floor piece is basic white it's one and three quarters by five and a quarter and there's a little stamp in this set for flooring um, to make it look like a wood look and I'm going to use Knight of Navy Knight of Navy now some of this is going to be covered by the rug so especially you don't need to do the middle I'm going to stamp off so it's not quite so dark And you can see, you can line it up going straight across. I missed a little bit there because I'm trying to look through the phone and everything else. If you're on here, say hi, tell me where you're from. And then you just keep building. And I'm going to put um, my bottom one on this top one that's already stamped. And you can see it'll line up pretty good. And I goof that. I'm not going to worry about the middle here. I'm just going to do the edges. And I'm stamping off so it's not so dark. I'm going to do across the top of this. And you know, the old country homes, the floors are kind of crooked. They're old and weathered, and so it doesn't have to be exactly straight. All right, so the rug is going to cover the middle part there, and the boarding is going to cover the top, where it's just a little bit crooked. All right, so we've got that done. All right, so I'm gonna bring my car base back in. I have a piece of the Country Inn Designer Series paper. And this is, oh, five and a quarter by two inches. And I'll grab that. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start where I normally would put it at the top, right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down.
Okay. And is that straight? It needs to come down a little bit on this side, I think. That's straight, I think. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the flooring piece on. And I'm going to, it's going to be the same spacing from the bottom as it is up here. And I apologize about the technical difficulties um, when I started. I had the wrong banner name on, so I had to change that. All right, so this is going to go about like that. All right, and now we have a piece of uh, basic white that's been embossed with a timber 3D embossing folder. So it has this nice wood look, and I'm going to put it up. Probably about like that across there. Oh, I better use glue for this because of all the little bumps and ridges. All right, so I want it probably about like that. Rub that down. And we've got glue on there. We can probably cover that up. Okay, so now um, I'm going to go ahead and put the rug on here. It needs to be stamped first. And this is the rug um, die cut. And I'm going to use Starry Sky ink on this one, or Boho Blue. I guess this is the one I used. And this is a rug stamp. Now I need to, with the, since this is photopolymer, you want to be careful you, to stamp on a cushion like your old, this is an old um, piercing mat uh, because your images will come out better. And with all the detail on that rug, I'm going to use that mat underneath. I hope I've got that on there right. We'll soon find out. Okay, yeah, it's pretty good. So there's our rug, our carpet. And that is going to go right about here. With this set, I feel like I'm playing with a dollhouse, kind of. <laughs> Did you ever do paper dolls when you were little? Okay, so there's our rug. I'm going to get my glue eraser and see if that will come off. Okay, these are on available on Amazon and they're great for getting, uh, yep, it is glue. Uh, rolling glue off where you don't want it. Okay, so um, now let's put some lattice up across the top here. 
And the die that I'm using for that is, um, again, this one right here that we used on the previous car. And I'm just using this right here to go across. And so I've got this whole thing on here. And to space it evenly, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, I want this intricate detail on the end here, okay? And so I'm gonna, I have cut another piece to use with this. So um, I want this to end up being the end of this decorative shape, that little circle or oval right there. I want that to be right at the end of that, like that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this right about like that. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this um, off. So I don't need that. So this is going to go across like this. I'm going to go ahead and um, glue that. And you could use those uh, adhesive sheets if you wanted to. Um, you just peel off one side of it and lay your cardstock on it. And then when you die cut it, uh, you have um, another uh, piece to peel off the back and it's nice you just peel it off and all the stickiness is there and you just lay it down on your cardstock okay so this is going to go across the top here just like that and then I've caught another piece that I'm going to layer over that. Um, so we're going to layer this over here and we're going to cut it off right about there. You couldn't get, yeah, I, I don't think kids today play as much with um, paper dolls. My mom said she used to build like houses with cardboard and and I used to play with them. All right, so this is going to go directly over this one. Just like that. And you really don't notice that there's an, an overlapping layer on that. I was wondering if that was crooked. Okay, so there's our, our basic room is done. We've got the rug, the wall, the lattice, the wallpaper. And I've got sticky fingers I'm gonna wipe off here. So let's do a little die cut. Well, let's do a little stamping first and then we'll do our um, die cutting. So I have um, I'm going to bring this in here. I'm going to stamp the table in Daffodil Delight. And the table has uh, two drinks on it, like lemonade with straws in it. I'm not going to use them, though. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. I'm bringing in my mat again. We'll stamp that table on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp the painting plant. 
And we're going to make the plant just sitting on the table, not hanging. And I'm using Memento because I'm going to color in with Stampin' Blends. There's our potted, looks like ivy to me. All right, and I'm going to color those leaves with, move this stuff out of the way. Um, Old Olive. This is the light. Yeah, my granddaughters really didn't play with paper dolls either. They would, my dad had made a doll house and they would play with that. All right, and now let's add some dark to that. Just a little bit and um, touches. Just to give it a little bit of interest. And then I want the pot to be like, and I've got Poppy Parade here, or bright. Not light, I want it to be bright, all right? And we'll bring in a little bit of dark for the bottom of the pot right there. All right, now I'm gonna grab my little Stampin' Cotton Emboss machine and die cut these out. And we need to die cut out the pillow and the rocking chair. I love the rocking chair die. So I'm going to grab that and bring it over. This is the mini machine. I think it is still available in the boho blue color. All right, so we'll do these first, the table. The table and the plant hanging basket. And I'm going to grab my post it tape. Well, I'm not seeing my post-it tape. I'm going to grab a post-it note. That's what I'll do. I'm going to rip it. And we want that one about there. And then this one. I'll grab another piece of that. I think this came off. Okay, and this one. All right, put the plate on the top. Run it through. Okay, so there's our table. And our plant. And I got the plant a little crooked. I think I can make it work. 
And now I'm going to die cut the rocking chair and the pillow. And we'll do them both at once. So um, it's this rocking chair right here. And this is uh, Starry Sky. And Daffodil Delight for the pillow. Come on. There we go. Move this out. Okay, so let's build our living room scene here. And I'm using my take your pick tool just to um, get these pieces out of this. And what I love about this die is it gives the detail of the wood on the rocker. And we're going to put our rocker probably about there. I'm going to cut these drinks off the table because we're going to put the plant on the table. And the table's going to sit down here. I'm going to add a couple dimensionals to it. Hey, Margaret. Yeah, the girls have a game tonight. So I had posted earlier that I was going to be early. And apologies. I just it was a chance to go to their game and I didn't want to miss it. I haven't seen them play yet. It is a uh, tag football, which is um, their team is actually sponsored by the Buffalo Bills. And they play in Rochester. So So there was a bit of a change. Let's see, I need the small dimensionals. Here they are. Okay, I'm just gonna stick two on there. I'm sorry about that cut on my thumb. All right, so there's our rocker. We want to go in crooked a little bit. And let's bring in our little plant here. And I'm just going to trim around this white. I didn't do a very good job die cutting it. I got a little bit crooked. And I'm just going to cut off the hanger part. Cut around this piece of ivy. And we are going to make this hanging off the table. And I'm just trimming some of this white away. Okay. So he's going to sit on there like that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Margaret. You're so sweet. Okay. Um, so we've got our rocker on there. Uh, I'm going to pop another dimensional on the back of this. I'm running out of dimensionals here. And that will be on the table. Actually, I want it sitting up a little more. Okay. Nope, it needs to go down a little more. Okay. There we go. All right, so I um, have a little welcome sign that uh, I heat emboss. It's on a piece of black. Um, 
It's a little banner that says welcome. And I'm not finding it in my kit here. Okay, so what I did was, I'm going to look and see if it's over on my workbench. Yep. Okay, so this um, I made with stylish shapes dies. Okay, and I'm going to put it about, I want it in the center of my card, which is probably about like that. And I'm going to take this and I am just holding it there. I'm going to poke a hole through there. Okay. And I'm going to put a brad in. Uh, Stampin' Up has these little brads in the back of the catalog. And I want, there's different size uh, shaped heads on them. And I want the one that's really small. This one. Okay, I'm going to put that in there so it's going to look like this. Oh, this is that Lemon Lolly. I love that Lemon Lolly. All right, so I've got a, going to take a piece of um, black baker's twine, and you just need a little piece, enough for, like, the hanger, and that's too big. And come on, I want it to make it look like it's hanging. So what I'm going to do is take the back of this and add a little adhesive like that. Turn this over, put one end here. We want it sticking up a little bit. We got it down too far. One end there. So this needs to go over farther to look right. Okay, and then that's gonna hang there. And I'm just gonna put adhesive on the or glue on the back. So this would make it like a nice um, card even for somebody that moves into a neighborhood. It has, but it looks like a living room. You know how people have those welcome cards now. Yep, it's Lemon Lolly. For some reason that isn't sticking good. Come on. Okay, so there's our card. And then the inside, uh, I stamped with um, the rocker, the rocker stamp. And I think it's Night of Navy. Well, it might be Starry Sky, actually. You could cover this with designer series paper, a strip of that across there if you didn't like that. Then the other card, um, I'm going to show you really quick because my husband is probably... Um, ready to roll and this is a birdhouse card and I've used the radiating stitches dies for the base I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there uh, this is four and a quarter by eleven scored at five and a half or folded at five and a half all right, then I have another die cut using the Countryside in Designer Series paper, and then I die cut this with a scalloped contours dies. Love those dies. I was hoping they would carry over this year, and they did. And this fits nicely in that um, shape of that frame. All right, and then. Um, We are going to make uh, 
I'm going to put this together really quick because Mac is probably waiting for me. And how big was my... These are the radi stitched, the radiating stitch dies. They're really cool. So there's three frames and a heart, a uh, circle, and a sun. Oh, your son's retiring and moving, huh? Huh. Tennessee is a beautiful place to move to. Okay, the small front layer is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So this layer right here is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I'm not going to be able to finish this tonight um, because we've got to get going. But I will come on probably Wednesday and show you how I finish doing this card. Um, it's a really cute card. And the other card I would like to show you is, I have some other cards I want to show you, but um, the other one is, uh, this is a porch view. Um, it's one of the flying seagull cards. So um, I'd like to show you this one later in the week. Anyways, um, I will finish showing you this later in the week. And again, you can get the kits for uh, these three cards. This one, this one, and the first one that I did, which is over here. Um, if By placing an order in my online store of $35 or more, and if your order is $50 or more, then I will send you um, some new designer series paper. And the host code that you need to use with that is TTCHU3B4. Anyways, we'll talk more about this later this week. And thanks for stopping by, and I will be back on Wednesday. Bye.